Do you want to learn how to make a gas leakage detection and automatic valve shutdown system using Arduino MQ-2 sensor, relay module and a solenoid valve? Then watch this tutorial from start to the very end. In this tutorial, we will be covering how to find the solenoid valve coil resistance, how to perform the relay driver circuit design calculations to make our own relay module, which can be then used for controlling the solenoid valve. Let's get started. A solenoid valve is also known as an electrically operated valve. It's an automatic valve that removes the need for an engineer or operator to operate a valve manually. Solenoids operate using an electromagnetic solenoid coil to change the state of a valve from open to close or close to open. We have mainly two types of solenoid valves, normally closed type and normally open type. A solenoid valve, the one you can see on the screen is normally closed type. In this type of solenoid valve, when the coil is energized, the valve gets opened by the electromagnetic force produced by the coil. As you can see, it has two coil terminals. Its basic working principle is just like a relay is in the case of a relay. When we connect ground and 12 volts with the relay coil pins, the relay operates similarly. Solenoid valve has also two coil terminals. And when these terminals are connected with ground and 12 volts, the solenoid valve can be turned on and turned off. To control this solenoid valve automatically, we will need to make a drive circuit for this. You can control this solenoid valve using a transistor, a relay, a MOSFET, etc. The selection of the transistor, relay, MOSFET, etc. depends on the solenoid valve coil current, which is needed to energize the solenoid valve coil. Let's say we want to control this solenoid valve using a transistor or a MOSFET. First of all, we find the coil resistance. For this, use a digital multimeter. Set it on resistance and connect one test lead of the digital multimeter with one terminal and another test lead with another terminal. The coil resistance is 15.6 ohms and we already know this solenoid valve needs 12 volt. So, V equals to 12 volt. Now, using the ohms law, V equals to IR. We can find the current I equals to V by R. So I is equal to 12 divided by 15.6. I equals to 0.769 amps, which is equal to 769 milliamps. So from this value, now we can decide whether we need to use a transistor, MOSFET or a relay. We can use any of these three to control this solenoid valve. If you want to use a transistor or a MOSFET, make sure that the collector current or drain current is greater than 769 milliamps. Keeping in mind the ambient temperature and other factors, select a transistor or MOSFET higher than this value. But I will be using a relay because it's cheap, it has no heat losses and another advantage of using a relay is that it provides isolation. This is a 12 volt SPDD type relay. SPDD stands for single pole double throw. As this is a 12 volt relay, it cannot be directly controlled by the microcontroller. In order to control this relay automatically using a microcontroller, then we will need to make a driver circuit for this relay. We can make a driver circuit only if we know about its coil pins. So first let's find the coil pins and then find the resistance. R equals to 0.426 kilo ohms. R is equal to 426 ohms. Voltage is already known, so V is equal to 12 volt. As it's a 12 volt relay, then using the ohms law, V is equal to IR. We can find the current I is equal to V by R. I is equal to 12 divided by 426. I equals to 0 0.028 amps, which is equal to 28 milliamps. Now we can use any NPN or PNP type transistor so far its collector current is greater than 28 milliamps. In my case I will go for 2N2222 NPN transistor whose collector current is much more greater than the relay coil current. 2N2222 transistors are cheap and can be easily found in any electronic shop. My choice is 2N2222 and I always use this type of transistor for controlling a relay. 
Now let's find out uh, the common normally closed and uh, normally open contacts of the relay. We have already found the coil pins. Now we have these three pins remaining. Set the multimeter on continuity and make sure you can he hear the beep sound. Now connect the multimeter test leads to find out which is the normally open and which is the normally closed contact. Beep means a close contact and no beep means open contact. This gaze sensor module features an MQ-2 sensor. The MQ-2 sensor is a versatile gaze sensor capable of detecting a wide range of gases including alcohol, carbon monoxide, hydrogen, isobutane, liquefied petroleum gas, methane, propane and smoke. This module is provided with male header interface and can be easily interfaced with Arduino Omega using male to female type jumper wires. In my previous tutorial I used the same sensor for smoke detection. If you want you can watch this tutorial. The four male headers are labeled with A0, D0, Ground and VCC. A0 is the analog output of the sensor and uh, should be connected with the analog pin of the Arduino Uno or Mega. D0 is the digital output in the form of 5 volt R ground. The level can be adjusted using the variable resistor. Ground pin of this module will be connected with the ground of the Arduino or Mega. VCC should be connected with 5 volt of Arduino or Mega. This is the complete circuit diagram designed in Kate Soft Eagle. If you want to learn how to make schematics and PCBs then watch my tutorials. As you can see one side of the relay coil is connected with 12 volts and the other side of the relay coil is connected with the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor and the emitter of the 2N2222 transistor is connected with ground. So the ground to the relay coil is connected and disconnected with the help of this transistor. Is it's a BJT bipolar junction transistor and is a current control device that's why a 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected at the base of the 2N2222 NPN transistor and will be connected with pin 13 of the Arduino. So Arduino pin 13 will be used to control this relay. A sunlight valve is connected with relay common and normally closed contacts. A ground from DC power jack is connected with one terminal of the solenoid valve and the other terminal of the solenoid valve is connected with the common of the relay and normally open contact of the relay is connected with 12 volt. So turning on and off this relay, we can turn on and turn off this solenoid valve. As you can see the VCC of the MQ-2 sensor module will be connected with Arduino's 5 volt ground will be connected with the Arduino's ground and its A0 pin will be connected with Arduino's analog pin A1. Now my friends let's start with the components needed for making our own relay module. If you want you can also use a ready made module but if you want to learn how to make your own relay module then you should definitely watch this. Let's start with the 2N2222 NPN transistor. The leftmost leg is the amateur, middle leg is the base and the rightmost leg is the collector. We also gonna be needing a 10 kilo ohm resistor, a DC socket which will be used to power up the relay module, a Vero board and an SPD type relay which has 5 legs as you can see. First of all apply some solder to the red and black wires. These two wires will be then soldered with the DC socket. Apply some solder to the pins of DC socket so that we can easily solder the wires. First connect the black wire which is the ground wire. Then connect the red wire which is the 12 volt wire as you can see. The wires are soldered. Now we will solder a terminal block with which we can connect a solenoid valve. Solder the pins and make sure that you don't apply too much heat. Now soldering is done for the terminal block. Now apply some silicone on the top of the relay and fix this on a Vero board as you can see. Now we will solder the 2N2222 NPN transistor. First we solder its legs and again make sure that you don't apply too much heat as it can damage the transistor and then trim the legs. Now we will connect a 10 kilo ohm resistor with the base of 2N2222 transistor. Solder its legs. Now connect a yellow wire with the 
10 k resistor later we will connect this wire with pin 13 of the arduino now we will apply some solder to these two black wires one wire will be later connected with the ground of the arduino and the other wire will be connected with the dc socket now we are connecting this with the emitter of the transistor now the red wire will be connected with one leg of the relay coil as you can see the red and black wires are soldered now the other leg of the relay coil will be connected with the transistor's collector leg as you can see this wire is coming from the relay coil pin and is connected with the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor now let's solder this wire now let's apply some solder to both sides of this wire now take another wire and apply solder to both the ends now solder these two wires with the two legs of the terminal block now solder the other ends of the wires with the common and normally open contacts of the relay so the green wire is connected uh, with the common and the blue wire is soldered uh, with the normally open of the relay so my friends as you can see all the soldering is done and our own relay module is ready and can be used to control AC or DC loads but I will be using this for controlling a solenoid wall. The soldering is done as per the circuit diagram which I already explained in very detail. This is a program written for the gas leakage detection and automatic valve shutdown system using spoke or gas sensor module MQ-2, Arduino Uno, solenoid valve and relay module. So first of all we start with the instruction in teacher smoke S is equal to A1. Smoke or gas sensor connected with analog pin A1 of the Arduino Omega. A1 is a pin number and smoke is, is the name of the A1. You can also give it any other name, even you can name it as LMNRXYZ. But it's a good programming practice to use a such a name which has a meaning. The name Smoke S clearly shows that with pin A1 of the Arduino or Mega, Smoke or Gaze sensor is connected. Variable names follow some rules, for example, no numbers are allowed in the beginning of the variable name. No spaces are allowed in the variable names and we cannot use the same variable names for different pins. A variable name should be unique. In simple words, is your name is unique among your brothers and sisters. Integer data equals to zero. This value will be used to store the values coming from the sensor module. Integer S valve is equal to 13. A solenoid valve is connected with pin 13 of the Arduino Omega. Every Arduino Omega program has at least two functions which are the wide setup function and wide loop function. Wide setup function executes only one time when the Arduino Omega board is powered up. Wide means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parenthesis means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. If you want to learn in detail about the functions, then watch my tutorial on functions in which you will learn how to use built-in functions and user-defined functions. Serial dot begin 9600. This function is used to activate the serial communication. 9600 is the baud rate. So this is a function which is not returning any value but takes one argument as the input which is the baud rate or communication speed. Pin mode smoke is input. Pin mode function is used for telling the microcontroller that the pin that we are using will be used for reading or controlling. As in our case, we are reading the sensor value, so that's why we are using it as input. Pin mode S valve output. As solenoid valve is an output device, so that's why we set it to the output. D should write S valve low in order to turn on or turn off a specific pin of the Arduino or Mega. We use a function digital write which takes two arguments as the input, the pin, which is the is a valve and uh, a high or low signal then starts a wired loop now this function will run infinite times until we turn off the arduino uno omega this function is also not returning any value and does not take any argument as the input data is equal to analog read smoke s we are reading the sensor 
and storing the value in a variable data. The purpose of these two instructions is to find the exact range of values like for example what values we get when there is no gas leakage or when there is no gas, when there is no smoke and what set of values we get when there is a gas leakage or when there is a smoke. So later we will use these values with an if instruction for controlling an LED. So serial dot print smoke and serial dot print print L in data. I tested it in my room and I find out that in normal conditions when there is no gas leakage and no smoke the value stays below 230. How to find out this value I will tell you once we are done with the programming. So if data is written or equal to 230, digital write is valve high and there is a delay of uh, 500 milliseconds which is equal to the half second and then we enter into an infinite uh, loop using the while one and uh, then the controller will execute uh, this instruction like the reset the controller like infinite times at a rate of uh, one second delay until we reset the microcontroller and else there is a delay of 1000 milliseconds so now we are done with the programming now let's compile the program and check for errors is there are no errors now connect arduino uno with a computer or laptop and click on the tools <coughs> menu and check if the right board is selected uh, then check the com port is activated and selected is all is good now click on the upload button and wait for a while now click on the serial monitor as you can see the value is below 230 so that's how i find out when there is a gas leakage the value exceeds 230 and the valve is turned off and then it stays inside the while loop until we reset the microcontroller let's check the hardware now so friends as you can see all the components are connected as per the circuit diagram the sensor is connected with a one of the arduino and its vcc and ground are connected with the five volt and ground of the arduino this is the relay module and as you can see the yellow wire is connected with pin number 13 and the ground wire which is coming from the relay module is connected with the ground and this is the solenoid valve and this is connected with the uh, block terminal so it's explained so I have uh, right now I have connected three adopters one adopter which is a 12 volt I'm using for the relay module another one I am using for powering up this solenoid valve and another 5 volt adopter I'm using for the uh, Arduino you know so I'll be using this uh, lighter for the gas leakage and uh, over here you can see the light is off and the solenoid valve so let's make some leakage so as you can see it detected uh, the gas leakage from this lighter and the wall is uh, shut down so so by default we keep this valve open so that uh, the gas can flow and when there is a gas leakage then uh, it is automatically shut down and uh, the controller enters into an infinite loop i hope you like today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching